You're not the ultimate hat lady. But let other people be the judge of that. She looks like a tennis player. Do you want American one. Yeah. Or a poker player. <laughs> you know where they cover yeah, yeah, yeah. up their faces, yeah. It takes a long time to do it, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the UK. We're here at Giro with the jam lot. We're doing a bit of work today and I need to sort my bike out for Giro Giro. Where are you going to put in the bags? Oh, Maybe balloon animals. Balloon animals. Any creature comforts? What you take? What's your most like unnecessary thing that you're going to take it anyway? Computer mouse. Computer <laughs> mouse. You need that. Yeah. That's where all your mad skills come from. Yeah. You slow you down by four percent if you have that. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. I reckon. What about pants? You taking pants? No. Good lad. <laughs> What's with all the hats? You never wear hats, Jess. What's going because on? Look at me. <laughs> hey, it looks good. <laughs> from the gym. Usually my hair's here. The letters, and the then the hats, hats don't accommodate that. I'm a big fan of camo. Oh yeah. Put it on. Present when you got back. New hat day for everybody. Oh hi. Oh hey, how are you? <laughs> good. What are you doing up here? Just zipping some stuff up. Oh, I love zips. You're going to see the uh, the toilet shrine yeah. to Matthew Falconer. Matt Falconer, the actual and, and one. There's also one to me. Good. Second at the TCR. Winning the second place. In this kit. And look, it's going mouldy. Man, there's probably bacteria in there. That's a strong look. Yeah, oh, it's the only coat I've got. Mm. It was sunny this morning. Time for a couple of upgrades ahead of Juby Duro. Cannot wait to ride this, actually. What do you think? Hello. I think it's wet. That's remarkably dry from being outside for the last it's three hours. It's been under that tree, isn't it? That tree's done you a cracking job. I like your bag. I Just need to go and get matches need, your new hat. I need more bags on it, I think. You're not taking any pants, so what are you, you going to store? I don't know, stuff, you know, bike packing stuff. Are you looking forward to packing it? Not, not really. You've done a good wedding job, to be fair. I'm lending you my one. So you gave me uh, about 45 minutes notice. I've got covers, got fresh batteries, gonna give it a nice little clean. Wing it on there. Be like new. So I figure as we've got a bit of chill time before Jibi Juro, I'll show you my full bike setup. Over the next day or so, I'm gonna get my hands on some bags, tail fin rack, um, fill them all up and give it a proper test ride before we start the event. Some of you have seen this bike before. Vilia Yena. I haven't got a name yet. Jordan, you're good at naming bike. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, I'm quite hungry. <clears throat> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gravel bikes go, it's very nice. What would you name it? I know you name all your bikes. Barbara. Ah, Barbara. Why? It's just a, it's just it's a feeling. It's a feeling. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cool. Feel, he feels it in his feces. It's in my feces? <laughs> Stage one, my favourite bit. Was that part of my bike? <laughs> nope, this bit was. This lovely Shimano Ultegra crankset has been replaced with the most accurate power meter on the market. Dirty. Info crank, dirty one. Dirty Doesn't one. look as nice, but it reads power. It's got a lot of miles in it, that. Stage two. Bag. Little Apidura food pouch. Not going for a full frame bag, I don't think. Let's see how much capacity there'll be in the tail fin, which I'm picking up in a bit. No Lawrence's. Lawrence is not allowed in the van. Last time he was in the van, he made a mess. Why are you wearing two hats? Hey, I'm a man with too many hats today. Right, quickly, because it's raining. Having a lift to Sigma Sports, pick up some tubeless Find some tubeless wind. jizz and tubeless, what's the other thing? Valves. Finally. I've given in to the pressure. Finally going tubeless. Oh, man. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel like I'm a sellout. You are a sellout. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. All the big people sell out. I'm not big, I'm small. Uh, all the small people sell out. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a Marvel superhero all splattered into one yeah. bike. It does actually. Yeah. Nicer than yours because it's clean. <laughs> it's very big. Derek. Big John. Big John. Big John. <laughs> like little John. Yeah. But big. Why don't you get a, a snack bag like that? Because I'm not a triathlete. Okay, fine. Out in the what saves on GB Duro with that lad. <laughs> Another piece of the puzzle. I wonder if any of you can guess what this is. New Telfin rack. Right, now I'm in London, last bits of planning to do. I'm meeting Chris, picking up a bivy bag and a sleeping bag and a sleeping mat. And Rob's gonna be there to discuss what's going on. A long macchiato. What's that? No well, one knows. Well, yeah, I thought, I thought it'd be like, just more milk, but it turns out 
It's more water with a bit of milk on top. If you put them dirty fingers in yours, no, you're basically drinking oil. Mate, I fucking eat this shit all the time. It's like, look who it is. see this guy in ages. How's it going? Just punch it out. Tesco bag for you. Thanks, man. Oh, I go, oh, the oh no, it's heavy. What's that? That's a sleeping bag. That kept us alive up the snow mountain. That's What's an, that? That's an Irma. That Irma. is an, an, an Irma. An Irma. Oh, they're really hard to catch. You can blow it up with uh, probably two breaths. That is a big bag that keeps you dry. I'm glad like my first experience of using one of these is going to be like in a the, by the it's side gonna of a field. It's going to be tomorrow night. It's gonna be, oh yeah. This is what we've got to discuss. I've had Will this morning like a million messages really? like really? asking me questions about oh where are we sleeping? What are we doing? Will you pick me up? What time are we leaving? What? And I'm like, please stop asking me questions. <laughs> yeah, so where are we sleeping tomorrow night? I don't know, hedge? Yeah. Camping. We could all just like crawl like into like Will's like her and Lux and like all. It might be the, it might be. Might have Lux. to. So for GB Duro, we, we've actually got a car with us, but we're not allowed to store anything that's not related to filmmaking in that car. We're allowed to use it for my laptop and that sort of thing while we're racing. Um, I've got to carry all of this stuff and we've, we're not allowed to sleep in hotels, so we're sleeping with biffy bags and all that. Right. And the guys in the car are going to be camping as well. Yeah. Because they yeah, might yeah. as well. And then we've got a plug in the car, so we can edit my videos, and hopefully it will all go well. It's going to be so hard. <laughs> hopefully the weather sticks no, out I, I, half I, decent. I, 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 It'll be so sunny. I, I, Rob told me it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. It's... No. It can't, yeah. I, no, it can't. Did you ask that guy Met? Yeah, Met Weather. You know Met Helmet? You know how they got their name? Some guy called Met. No, it's literally Helmet. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You've done oh, that. Look at my hands. They're like, oh, look at the tan. You've got old man hands. Bruising. How old are you? <laughs> so I think I managed to dodge the rain today. Now I'll show you my proper setup. So here is my 90% done bike packing setup for GB Duro 2019. There will be some changes because I haven't really done an event like this before. Don't know where I'm going to store gilet leg warmers, how many jerseys I'm going to take, that sort of thing. It will be somewhere in here. Tail fin carbon rack. Some of you will remember this from the USA trip. I used it with panniers on. They have now released the aero trunk. This thing is absolutely massive. Bigger than the bigger seat pack that Apogee do. I think it's about 20 liters. I feel like you can actually squeeze a little bit more than that because it's roll top. All of the sleeping equipment, bivy, sleeping bag, and roll mat are in there currently. You could probably squeeze a bit more in there too. Because it's designed in the same way as the old rack, you can also fit panniers on in an emergency. I'm gonna take these in the filmmaking car, just in case I need to carry more stuff when they eventually leave us after a few days. The guys from Telfin, legends, have put together this for me. This is currently one of a kind. Um, he's adapted a laptop case so I can fit my 15 inch laptop on the side of this, just like a pannier would. You see the side profile there. Running an 1132, 34 on the front, compact. Info crank, so I have got power I can look at. Fiddlock bottles for both of these. I've also got one attached to the fork as well. Gives me a little bit more space if I did want to run a frame bag, but I don't think I need to. Little Apogee snack box. Stuff you want to put in here is things that you can easily access. So I'll probably have my phone because I don't want it in my pocket. Power bank. I can plug in my lights. Little multi-tool. Uh, I'll put some food in there. And although I'm running tubeless, I have an emergency tubelito, which weighs nothing. Wahoo Element. GoPro Hero 7 underneath. Skin grows back bar bag. I've already shown you that before. This is currently empty, so a lot of space for potentially the drone. Again, the car is allowed to carry that for the first bit of the race, but after that, might take it with me. Had a check with Continental and these are tubeless ready, so I've got the stuff to set that up this evening. Finally, after all the peer pressure you've given me viewers, I'm going tubeless. Big disc rotors, wended chain, front light, cat eye volt, 1300. Lumens? This lets you clip a light to the back as well. I'm gonna dig one out, but there you go. That looks pretty serious, doesn't it? Now, without my filmmaking equipment on there, compared to the USA trip, that, that's really light. We're going pretty bare bones in terms of kit and everything. I think we're just doing like one pair of bib shorts, wash it in a stream, dry it with a towel. Don't even know if we're bringing towels. A couple of things I wanted to sign this video off with. New hats on the Jam website. Definitely go and check them out. I'll put a link in the description down below if you want one. Really happy with how these came out. And last but not least, the winner of the Spin On These Wheel competition is Nibs15. Give us a shout in the comments below, I'll get in touch. I think I've got you on Instagram. Congratulations, however, you win the holy wheels. Right, now I need to really get ready. I'll sign this video off now. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you guys at GP Giro.